In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for KNO3 plus BaCl2. This is potassium nitrate plus barium chloride. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. I can see I have one nitrate ion here, but over here I have two of them. So I'm going to put a 2 in front of the KNO3. That balances the nitrates, but now I have these two potassium. If we put a 2 here as our coefficient, that balances the potassiums, two chlorides, two chlorides here, and then barium and barium. This is the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. You'll notice that everything is aqueous, and when everything is aqueous, that means there's no reaction, nothing has changed. And here's why. Let me split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And everything is aqueous. Everything's a strong electrolyte here. That looks like this. So once everything is split apart into its ions, you can see we have the same ions that we start with here in the reactants as we finish with in the products. Nothing changes. There's no precipitate. We have the same thing we started with. For that reason, there's no reaction. If we crossed out the spectator ions, the things that didn't change, potassium, we have two potassium ions. Those are spectator ions. Two nitrate ions, then again in the products. Two nitrate ions, a barium ion here, and in the products. And finally, two chloride ions in the reactants and products. Cross those out, and there's nothing left. Everything is a spectator ion. For that reason, KNO3 plus BaCl2, this potassium nitrate plus barium chloride, there's no reaction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.